Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to share a list of incredible Cydia tweaks for the iOS 8 through 8.1 untethered Pangu jailbreak that myself and Jeremy from iDevice Movies have curated for you. Alright, and before we begin, this video is brought to you in part by Free App Life, where you can earn paid apps and gift cards by downloading apps. More on that toward the end of this video. Also, prior to watching this video, it's important to realize that you must be jailbroken by way of the latest Pangu for iOS 8 jailbreak utility. And if you have yet to jailbreak your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, I will have an annotation on the screen now to be taken to my jailbreak tutorial if you're on the desktop version of YouTube, as well as down below in the more info. And now, without any further ado, let's get into the tweaks in today's list. Some of which I've previously highlighted, which is why I've included a few bonus tweaks, so just be sure to stick around to the end of the video for those. And now in no particular order, up first we have Activator, which has been a favorite of mine for quite some time now, a few years actually, and it allows you to set various trigger actions for accomplishing a number of outcomes. For instance, I've set it up so that when I pinch the screen with three to five fingers inside of an app, it exits to the home screen, and when I'm at the home screen, pinching on the icons actually locks it. So as you can see there, I just locked it simply by pinching on the icons. And setting up custom actions for Activator can either be done through the Settings app or just through the Activator app, which is actually what you get when you install Activator. And I won't go through everything, but as you can see, just by scrolling through the actions that you can assign to various triggers, the possibilities are endless. So Activator is absolutely incredible. I love it, and it's really great for customizing your device. Next, CC settings for iOS 8 is simple. It adds a number of new toggles to Control Center, which can be swept wiped through and accessed extremely fast, much faster than through the settings app. This tweak can be set up and you can rearrange the order of control center via the CC settings pane inside of the settings app. And when you actually drag different toggles around to rearrange them, it does it on the fly. You don't need to respring. And as you can see here, just scrolling through, I can toggle the various settings I want through CC settings and it does work. And while we're here, let's take a look at the next tweak, detailed battery usage, which as the name would suggests replaces the default battery usage section with a much more comprehensive one, complete with the persistent battery drain graph that can be scrolled between and an even more detailed breakdown of usage, including power consumption by background processes, and it's extremely useful when troubleshooting what takes up the most of your device's battery life. Flex is another long-standing favorite of mine that allows you to modify the warmth of the display at night or during the day for that matter, so that it's more forgiving on the eyes. While the day option isn't really useful in my opinion, increasing the warmth at night helps tremendously. I cannot stress how amazing this tweak is. So when you install it, you can either access the Flux settings via the settings pane for Flux or through the Flux app that it gives you once you install it. Now there are a few oddities with Flux on iOS 8, most notably the fact that it doesn't always transition or enable when it should. And if that's the case for you, just reboot when it should be enabled and it will work just fine. Hopefully we can expect an update soon to address the complications though. No slow animations allows for complete control over the animation speed of your device. It works flawlessly now that it's been updated to support iOS 8. And as you can see, just from opening and closing the Safari app there, the animation speed is significantly faster than default. Modifying the speed of system animations can be done through the no slow portion of the settings app. And while I won't adjust the speed right now because I like it the way I have it, you can test it out on the fly again with out having to respring and it just works great with the latest update. All right, now that's mostly it for this video. Save the bonus tweaks, which I'll get into in just a second. Check out Jeremy's video though, which can be found in the more info or in an annotation on the screen now if you're on the desktop version of YouTube for the additional five tweaks in this list, including the one that allows you to modify a number of visual aspects related to the system-wide blur effect 
of iOS. As you can see here, Control Center definitely looks different now that I have this tweak installed. And if you want more details on that, such as what it is and how to enable it, as well as some settings for it, then again, just be sure to check out Jeremy's video, which contains the rest of the tweaks for this list. Now, let's get into the bonus tweaks. Tether Me for iOS 8 is a paid tethering app, which allows you to tether your iPhone's data connection without having a tethering plan, and you can do so through either Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or USB. It also allegedly hides usage from carriers and gives you even more control over cellular settings. Furthermore, on iOS 8 and OS X Yosemite, you don't even have to enter a password on your devices, thanks to the addition of Instant Hotspot. And for a quick example, bringing over my iPod Touch here, as you can see for the Wi-Fi, it's detected that it's picking it up from my iPhone's data signal. So as you can see here, I'm connected through AT&T with LTE. I have a good signal. And let's go ahead and bring over the iPod Touch and test this out now. So opening up Safari, I'm actually going to search for iCrack Your iDevice inside of Google and clicking on my channel. As you can see, it definitely works and it's rather fast. So this is an example of Tether Me for iOS 8, which you can get from a custom source that I'll have linked to in the post that's listed below. Now, Virtual Home is an incredible tweak for the Touch ID sensor on the iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 6, iPhone 5S, iPad Air 2, and iPad Mini 3 that essentially emulates home button actions simply by resting your finger on the button without actually pressing it. And actions for short and long taps of the sensor can be configured via settings. Unfortunately though, the quick unlock feature which allows you to unlock the device simply by resting your finger on the sensor without actually pressing either the home button or the lock button only works when you lock your device when it's actually inside of an app. It's a minor bug that will be rectified in the next update. And finally, for the bonus tweaks, we have Disable Parallax Effect, which is a simple, unnoticeable tweak that completely disables parallax for battery life improvement purposes, unlike the reduced motion accessibility setting, which merely suppresses the effect. Now I've covered this tweak before, but it actually fits in perfectly with no slow animations because the parallax effect is usually in full force without the reduce motion effect enabled. So it works great with no slow animations, which speed up the regular animations. All right, now that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, and if it helped you out and it got you on your way to installing some awesome Cydia tweaks, just be sure to rate it up and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section. Once your comment's been posted, just be sure to visit bit.ly forward slash get free app life or freeapplife.com inside of mobile Safari. If you're interested in earning paid apps and gift cards, tap download. And if you're on iOS 8, press the home button, open the app, and download the temporary secure profile, which is strictly used for associating your device with its proper account in a more secure manner on the latest firmware. It's actually never even installed on your device as it's immediately deleted once your account has either been created or reassociated. From there, simply download sponsored apps for points and refer friends for even more. And you can use said points to redeem the aforementioned prizes. All right, and kind of wrapping things up here, guys, is one last reminder, don't forget to check out Jeremy's video from iDevice Movies for the remainder of the tweaks in this list. I will also have all of the tweaks that I detailed in today's video outlined in a post that I have linked to down below in the more info. So just be sure to check that out. And also, if you aren't already jailbroken, again, one last time, you will need to jailbreak. So if you're on the desktop version of YouTube, just be sure to click my channel name down below to be taken to my channel. And there you'll be able to find my untapped Tether jailbreak tutorial for all iPhone, iPad, and iPod touch models running iOS 8.0 through 8.1. And if you guys want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos covering various things like jailbreak related topics, and even the forthcoming Apple Watch, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.